Okay, today uh, we're gonna try to make you a better sidearm thrower with a very simple tip. I'm going to assume that you know how to do a, a sidearm grip. I'm just going to assume you don't have a lot of power with a sidearm. And this is true of uh, a lot of very high level pros don't really, are not able to drive with a sidearm because probably they don't know this one tip. And here it is for you to improve your sidearm and to make it possible for you to have a sidearm drive. Two important things about the sidearm. One is to use the momentum of that disc to drive that disc around your grip, your pivot point. And two, the most important thing that most people are missing is right at the end of that stroke, very strong, sudden, steely stop of your wrist. And it's that really strong, sudden, steely stop of your wrist that really drives the disc out of your hand. That first part is the sling part. That's what most people have. They know how to sling a sidearm out but they don't know how to spring the sidearm out, which is what that really sharp, steely stop of your wrist does. I'll start firing. Okay. okay. As you can see from watching my throws, I'm only concentrating on hitting the throw hard with that wrist action. And when I say action, I really mean strength. That's when everything gets together and gets real tight. You watch these throws, they're going anywhere from just slightly shy of 300 feet to 330 feet without a lot of effort other than the wrist. These are all different kinds of discs. You should be able to throw any kind of disc. You just got to re realize that the big ejective force comes when you stop that wrist really strong and steely and it ejects that disc out of your hand. In the past, I've likened that action to a karate chop, and that's good too, but most people don't do karate. But what you can also liken it to is a hammer hitting a nail on the head. It's that same exact rhythm, bam, with the wrist. Everything gets really tight right there when you hit that disc downfield. Before that, everything is very loose, very limber, no energy going into anything, but right, bam, everything right there. Arm is loose until right here, everything gets tight. Your whole body weight and all your momentum is behind it right then when you hit the nail on the head. Give that a try. It should at least add distance to your sidearm, if not make you a sidearm driver.